What's going on guys, it's really Riley here, and I'm going to show you one of the best auto clickers that I've found on Windows 10. A lot of auto clickers are, have sketchy download pages and probably have malware, but as far as I know this one is safe. Uh, and it's called OP Auto Clicker. So just search that into Google and you'll find their website. Um, so yeah, there's no ads, it doesn't look super sketchy. Obviously download everything at your own risk, but as far as I know and from my experience using it, it's safe. Okay, source. Uh, so that that link will bring you to the SourceForge page and the download should start automatically. Just click save. And then we're going to head to where we save that dot .exe. Okay, about these dot .exe's, these programs have the potential to install malware, right? But as far as I know, this one is safe. This is also the type, this is not an installer, this is just the application itself. Um, that's just how they decided to program this one. Now, it will open this window and then it'll create this folder. Um, these are just some, if you look in here, they're, they're just some images. They're uh, specifically .ico, probably short for icon. Anyway, so don't touch that. Just just pay attention to the .exe. And obviously, if you delete this .exe, then you're going to have to re-download it, or you're going to have to go fetch it from your recycle bin, okay? Um, but yeah, so don't delete that. This is just the program itself. What you can do, if you want it to get, that, get, get the .exe into one of these fancy start menu programs, then I, ha I will have a tutorial on that and I'll leave a link for that in the description. But anyway, this is the auto clicker. A few options here, you can just, uh, most basic is just like click on an interval. So we could just set that to like one second and it's just gonna click the left mouse button. It's gonna do click it a single time as opposed to double. And then it's gonna repeat until we click the stop button. And it's also gonna click at the current location. So when I start this, it's just going to start clicking. So it clicked out of that window. Now I'm back in the window. I I'm not clicking, but it it's clicking it, right? So if I hover over stop, then it'll click it, and, and now it's stopped. So that's how that works. You can also just repeat it, you know, 100 times for every second. Um, or you could, you know, pick like a certain location and have it click just at that location or whatever. There's also this... Uh, um, there's also this record and playback button where you can record what what's called a macro and it's going to record everything I'm doing right now and then when I play it back it's going to do all of that all those actions on all those clicks pretty nifty and notice how it it moved the mouse back to where I started the initial recording so let's say I record up here so now it's going to start that recording from this uh, mouse location okay even if I play it from over here, the mouse, right when I click play, the mouse is going to snap to somewhere over here because that's where I started the recording. Boom, see? It just freaking teleported. Crazy. But yeah, so that's how you record something. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that it saves your recording. So after you close this program, it's not going to save that recording. So like, let's say I tried to go back and play it. See, I can't play it because it doesn't save your um, recording, unfortunately. And there's no way around that, as far as I know. But anyway, that's going to do it. That's going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, leave a like if you guys like this, and leave a comment if you didn't. Uh, let me know how I can improve. But anyway, thanks, guys. Have a good one.